Hi, I'm Rich with Inside HPC. We're here at the Intel HPC Developer Conference in Salt Lake City, and I'm here with Franz from University College London. How are you doing today, sir? I'm fine, thanks. Well, great, great. Thanks for talking to us, because we wanted to get a preview of your talk here at the conference. Can you tell us what it's about? I'm going to talk about HPC challenges in the context of practical data analytics and machine learning. So as a practical machine learning and data analytics consultant, I'm seeing the whole workflow of data analytics, starting with the data acquisition, cleaning and uh, management of data, exploration, modeling, and in the end, decision making based on um, the statistical and machine learning models. And uh, the in the center, in the center of all this is the scientific question, the applied question, for example, in a medical context, how to predict best the uh, risk for a patient individualized or the best therapy in a manufacturing context, what are the best parameter settings for a machine or in a retail context, how to predict customer behavior in the future from past customer behavior. So in terms of machine learning, is this on the inference side or the training side, or that, does that not apply in this case? Well, in, in, a, in a practical context, you have the so you, you you have you have the whole workflow. So you start with your data. You don't you don't know you don't know what the data tells you. So you have to look at it first. Well, possibly clean it, pre-process it, make it um, make it presentable, or make it um, make it amenable to modeling. And then once you've seen the data, I mean that's that's already often um, a substantial amount of the workload, but then, uh, then you start modeling with uh, simple algorithms or complex algorithms. You also don't know which one is going to best, whether it's deep learning or the simple linear model that is, uh, that is going to be best, say, in a predictive scenario. And in the end, the validation and how to infer decisions that influence possibly the real-world process, uh, process that had originally motivated the acquisition of the data. So the whole, so the, for a practitioner, the whole workflow is interesting, not only a particular type of model, not only a particular type of looking at your data, but how to start at the very beginning with possibly large or small amount of data, with possibly complex or simple models, and in the end, answering the scientific question that's at the end of it. For example, which therapy is best for a patient with a certain disease? What is the best setting for, a, uh, for, uh, for optimizing production workflows? or uh, how do you best describe customer behavior, predict customer behavior. It's not, it's not really important which, which algorithm is best in, but that your scientific question is answered.